Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another part of our Abbasid campaign for 1212 AD Medieval Kingdoms Total War. And in the last part, uh, we did basically start our invasion of Egypt over here, and uh, we are now, well, kind of concluding it. We've only got this part really to take, and then we kind of move into what is left of North Africa. And then that's it, We've, we're done, we've only got three summons left to take, that's all we have to do. Um, yeah, because the, Ab uh, the Ayyubids are... Uh, Pretend it's like this one down here, so we don't have to go all the way down there, thankfully. Um, but yeah, so we're basically done then, and uh, we will be moving on to a new campaign. Um, it may be 12-12 again, because there is a new update coming very soon, and I will be wanting to cover that. Um, and yeah, so we may do a new campaign on that. Um, I will, or it may be on an entirely different game or mod. So, um, I hope you guys have been enjoying this uh, campaign. If you have been, please remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and leave a comment to show your support. Um, but anyway... We have got a rebellion over here, I've seen, and I've realized that, uh, like, in the end of the turn, I've forgotten where it is, uh, I don't know where is it, there it is, Imperium. We have now got nine armies available to us. So, we can recruit an army here quickly, uh, I will put in, I don't know if I want to put this guy in, boring, cunning, oh, he's very good at being a governor, oh, so are you though, to be fair. Um, loyalty, corruption, um, I think I'd rather have you as general, very loyal, uh, yeah, let's just put in the spears, and then you can go into there, sir, the heroes of the caliphate, yep, that's fine with me, you can have that name, that's a great name, and then you can just recruit me some footwear Jun for now, and they can just defend there, uh, and they should be able to do fine and hold there until this army comes up and saves the day. Basically, um, and that's kind of all I can do. There's a bit of a rebellion going on here. I don't know whether we can ha attack. No, we can't. Okay, very well. Then uh, we'll just leave it as it is. Are these two within range of each other? I don't know if they are. They are now. Um, right, so we'll leave them like so, just chilling there. And then uh, we'll end the turn. But we need more governors, it would seem. Right, so I'll have to put my other guy in. Um, let's just... I don't know, let's give you hostile agent success chance. Let's put authority in and then let's put zeal in. Then let's do provincial governor. Where in the world have we not got a governor now? It might be Baghdad actually. It's not Baghdad. Where is it then? Hmm. Where needs a governor? It's more. Where needs a governor? That's more the issue, I think. And why doesn't have a governor? Baghdad looks okay to be fair. Kufa also looks okay. Uh, our Erbil might need a governor. It might be Erbil. Erbil might be the place where we don't have a governor. Yeah, it might actually need to have one here. And suddenly as the mask is actually going down. Yeah, let's uh, end the turn. Let's put it in Erbil. Um, governor. Right. Have I got any of anyone available? Let's see, my vast family here. Should do. Um, yes, Khalid, there you are. You can go to Erbil. I'll find you uh, some lovely... <laughs> it's gone to minus four now. I'm pretty sure it was at minus two at one point. They just hate Khalid, clearly. Um, let's do that. And let's quickly... I don't know, go through some of these. Please. I don't think any of them will have anyone that I could marry into. Oh no, the Ottomans do. Demand wife. To you there you go. What do you bring? Um, there we go. I'll go with that much. Your people are wise yes, you can have that. But I, I kind of want a marriage. <laughs> we can have a military alliance. Yes, Ottomans. But I want a marriage. I want your... I'll do it for that. There. Four grand will do. Then Erbil. Can't get that. Anyway, we'll just end the turn there. I can still assign another governor? Jeez. Um, okay. I have so many governors available. Taskmaster, leader, marksman. I don't really want to put you in. I'd rather have leader, I think. Authority. Then let's put you in. Oh, of course, we can have another go um, another region uh, with a governor, of course. Um, let's put you in Akka, because Akka just seems to always be rebelling. There you go. Akka can also have... Uh, I don't really need growth. 
I'll put an empower local ruler. It's not really giving much tax anyways, it is. So we can might as well have the public order bonus. And we will see what happens. Hopefully, we don't have to have any more battles with any... Well, hopefully we don't have to have to fight any of the Crusaders that are coming our way. Well, I say they're Crusaders. They're not actually on a Crusade. They're just, uh, well... Well, in the case of the Holy Roman Empire, floating around in the boat in the middle of the ocean, dying. In the case of England, they're actually coming east by just destroying all of North Africa and leaving it in absolute tatters. Latin Empire doing something that's good to see. I just realised, blooming Jerusalem's taken Snoop. What the heck are they doing up there? I didn't even realise that. What on earth are these guys doing? Good to see uh, the Ayubids are just deciding to keep themselves plugged up in a corner. Um, Kingdom of Navarre, okay. Savoy, Verona, Bologna, yep, yep, yep. Let's move on to... More interesting stuff, aka the Abbasid Empire. Okay, so it looks like the Ubids did try and force back the. Um, you can just kill them. It looks like the Ubids did force back the Ubid pretenders, and then they've just moved on, so that's okay. So, but they, so they kind of kept themselves in their own little corner. There are the Ottomans. Um, and there we go. Bulgarian pretenders. Right, everyone's dead. That's a shame. Jerusalem. <laughs> Jerusalem's going to have a rebellion, it is actually. Jeez. Um, Akka doesn't look like it's having one anytime soon. I'm going to stick you in Jerusalem. Uh, I don't know why that's the case. Why would that be the case then? Might have something to do with the lack of stuff here, but we're sorting that out as we speak. Um, let's give you that, and then let's also give you authority, helps with morale. Yeah, let's go with that. These are pretty bad armies, in fairness, so if we just stick you there. Do we have to attack this one, honestly, first? I'd rather not. Surely I can go after this one. I'm going to actually have to go after that other one, aren't I? Ugh. Fine. You s they're not even that big of threats anymore. You know what? I I'm not even interested. I'm not even interested. I'm going to stick you there for now. So you're still sort of in range. Um, this one. This army. Go and stop sieging down this place. That actually doesn't produce any money for anyone. Don't know if that's a bug or what. Uh, okay, Castile's not war with us. I didn't even realise. That's great. Just in case we ever needed more enemies. There's another one. Um, Alexandria. Convert. Wait a minute, can you reach? You might be able to reach in one turn. Can you fast... Mm, not really. Okay, so we might lose... I don't think we will. Oh, well, we could set up this army from Cairo. Let's just send you there for now. Cairo can survive one turn of doing absolutely nothing. I have a fun duck. Have... You can convert to a metropolis. You can convert to that. You can convert to wheat farm. To that. You can convert to... Hmm. Could convert you to that, actually. That would be pretty useful. Then Alexandria probably just... Yeah, only has the one thing to really convert. So we'll make this a... Uh, what's this? I don't know if... I've, oh, no. Just, mm, camel train? Oh, yeah, of course we want camels. Camels, I forgot. The camels are the best. What's our food like currently? It's 25. Let's go with the... Uh, let's go with the... Place again to make it all nice and happy. Though we don't have a fun duck here actually, I just realised. Have a fun duck. If in doubt, build a fun duck. Right then, the spy can move down. Um, are any of these places rebelling? Well, they are going to rebel again, but... I need this army here just temporarily. I could actually move, I should probably move one of the armies that way and one of the armies back that way. Just, just in case. Uh, a Quave is actually sorting itself out. Al Giraffe's also getting there. I will put in a militia quarters. that'll help that out. The army over here, where is it? 
get moving. I don't know if the Salgrid is actually sending an army to come and help me, which is, if they are, that's very good of them. Um, how much stuff just I grew really quickly? Um, whether they'll attack, I don't know. They'll have to at some point. Um, but I'll just keep building armies here. I'll keep gradually building my army up. They can keep gradually building their army up. And we'll see who wins. Uh, it'll probably be the army with other side with two armies there now. Um, and great glory. Yeah, we might need to siege that down a couple more turns. I don't know. We'll see. We'll end the turn. End the turn and see what happens. And then everyone... <laughs> we just go through everyone now. Is at war with me. Because they've just been dragged into this war. Because they don't have to ever come over and fight. But if they join it, then everyone loves them. I hope that in the update that they... Uh, when they bring out the Christian kingdoms, actually, there's more events for them to fight each other. Because... Right now, they're just like a united front. They don't do anything uh, useful, apart from go to war with the uh, go to war with uh, the Muslims, which is a cool mechanic that they have the crusade in there. I like that they do have the crusade in there. Um, but yeah, it's just that's all they do. They don't really fight each other. The Byzantines fight each other, or like all the Byzantine factions fight each other because they're at war from the start, and they'll never make peace. Um, and obviously, like, Jerusalem and the yeah, Ubits will eventually go to war. But that's kind of like the only three that I know that are sort of scripted. And even then, I wouldn't say they were, like, massively scripted. Jerusalem, you can often see, will survive uh, a long time on the, like, in, well, in Acre. So, who knows? Hopefully, they had more scripted events, basically. Makes the game just have more depth and more... Makes it more interesting, more replayability. All right, duty calls. Uh, we're gonna need some man. Uh, it's gonna be you, sir. The victory. Uh, Antioch is gonna rebel. Um, I'm gonna block your promotion, sir. Cause why would I let a a man of a n little house get a promotion? Gah. Right, you go north to Antioch. You go to Jerusalem. You go. I don't know. I'll send you down here. You're on various speeds, but I don't think you can actually take Cairo. Um, I could actually have you on fast. It gets you a little bit further. A little bit further. Population surplus in Ray. Okay. Good. Right. And then let's put in some sanitation here. Just make this really happy. Um, oh, they're raiding now in Nishapur. Okay, well. That's where we draw the line. At you raiding, sir. And we'll attack. I don't think they'll stand. I don't think so. They stood. Okay. They die. Executed. That's what happens to rebels. Uh, and now this place is happy. So there we go. So we now have an army in the east as well. We have this tiny little army here. This can keep an eye on stuff. So I can send this one home to the west. This is now my little army in the east, which will do all of its my bidding. And, well, there's nothing else we need it to do, really. Uh, Gorgon is slowly going down, but again, I've got now a new army here, so we should be good. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, Erbil, I was going to build... That though it doesn't really matter. I just probably should spend my money on uh, investing in the uh, in the army. Just keep building the army up. There's nothing else I need to do, right? Really. Um, could move that army on. I don't really need to. Could get it to there. I don't. Again, don't really want to. Um, let's get you, sir, to do some assassinating. Where's my other assassin? Oh, did he die? Maybe he died. He did indeed die. Um, okay, narrowly avoided death. Okay, we've got scout, watchman, master. Uh, let's get, make you a. Let's get the scout one there, the Murad, whatever his name is. And then let's get a bigger mosque. Can never have big enough mosques, I say. Um, Justice of Allah. I don't know why you're not replenishing. Actually, yeah, that's a bit weird. Why aren't you Ready not replenishing? 
I don't know. Uh, we'll deal with that when it, as and when <laughs> we have that issue of again, or if it's just a one-off issue. I don't know. Um, Jerusalem looks like it's calmed itself. I'm going to move the army into Equaber next turn, and then Equaber's army can go all the way down to help uh, this place here. So I'll end the turn. Unassigned skill for Fiers. He can have Persuade Agent, and he can have Preach Tolerance. And there we go. Kingdom of Portugal. What are you going to do? Absolutely nothing. England, I also like, is doing nothing now. But yeah, I mean, I did just remember, Jerusalem took somewhere in Turkey. What are they doing? Madmen. I did think I haven't seen a single Jerusalem army in ages. It's because they're quite busy. Of course, the Holy Roman Empire lands when I take Cairo. But oh no, before they... Cairo is just too hard to take. But anyway, um, so yeah, it looks like... Uh, Jerusalem's just expanding its own borders elsewhere, just doesn't even really care about our wars. Uh, are you bids? No. You're at war with about everyone in the world, and that's how it's going to stay. And you're going to die a very painful death. Uh, these guys want me to join a war against Volga Bulgaria. No, I'm okay. I'm surprised they've stayed my vassal so long. They're very loyal after being subjugated once. I don't think they. I don't know actually if vassals really will break away. I mean, Mecca. Actually, Mecca did. Mecca broke away from the Ayyubids. Thankfully, because I didn't really have to go after Mecca or make a separate peace with them, or chase down their stacks that kept wandering around like they are now. There we go. Rebel army in Sis. I don't know whether that will uh, do anything. Might just attack because that seems to be what they do. Nope, didn't. Okay, that's good. Rebellion there. Good. Drusen pretenders dead. Cool. Jeez, a lot of pretenders. Jeez. Calm down. My Lord. Right, just going to take you out. Kill We're making a lot of money right now. 21,000. I mean, we probably could be making more. Probably people are like, oh, you can maximize your economy doing this. I just don't really care. <laughs> I, If it was going to be like planning and making a, like, a really long, tall Abbasid Empire, I'm sure I would have. And put a lot of time and thought into like how I was gonna build my really like strong economy, but I just aren't. I'm just not bothered really. Um, not to sound like at all rude, but just like I'm trying to get through and conquer these places as quickly as possible, uh, and that's kind of how I'm gonna play it. Right, you actually, yeah, I'm saying that I'm sending a Quaver's army there. Wait a minute. Yeah, you are now replenishing. That's good. I'm going to send you from Alexandria to go and attack. Uh, attack there. Yeah, as expected, they said no and did nothing. Right. Should kill that tiny army of, Jer uh, of the Holy Roman Empire off here. Yeah, there we go. So we killed this army off that's been here for ages. And it can finally die. They can send it. On the move, can send it back to their uh, emperor. You, I'm now going to sit in Cairo. Um, we're going to probably put that on and that on. Campaign movement, always useful. I could just, I could still bring the army down from Equaver, and I'm going to. I'm going to send you to uh, Alexandria. There we go. And then Jerusalem's going okay. to Equaver's not quite. Saved itself yet, so I mean, in theory, these guys can just walk in. So I'll just put you back in there. Then you can come over here for a bit. Um, yeah, these armies are pretty beat up. I don't really want them just to come in, just sneak in and take a, just a city, and then I've just got to go back and do it again. I'm like, oh. And there we go. They're gone. I'm sure this is kind of getting like a bit just monotonous, but A, I don't want to do like fight the siege. I could fight some of these sieges, but it just takes longer to do that when I could just also resolve. Of course, of course, there's a huge Holy Roman Empire army down here. Is this the emperor? It might actually be. Sigismund sounds like an emperor's name. I don't think it is. It's a shame. Um, but there's plenty of armies here that can deal with him. There we go. Have armor. Uh, and have authority. Why not? Um, but anyway, yeah, so we've taken that city. We should probably actually go and do something with it. Um, let's repair that. Let's repair that. 
Um, repair. And let's destroy that and repair that. Excellent. Right, Cairo's looking... Okay, let's upgrade it, make it even more sanitized. And then let's put in, oh my gosh, that is a lot. Uh, I guess we'll put it in 26 turns. Don't think we'll be around for that uh, when that eventually comes into use and be useful. Um, next turn, yeah, we'll go and attack Mercer, uh, Matru, or whatever it's called. I've got 11,000 left to spend. I'm going to put most of it into Damascus. There you go, 5,000 there. And then I'm going to put another load into Al Giraffe. There we go. Yep, that'll do. Uh, actually, wait a minute. I know why Drusen's not happy. I've got no food. Uh, machine, right, you can have that and then that. Help with integrity, you can have pluch and tolerance, and then you can have discourage the population. There you go. Doing your stuff. These two guys doing their stuff deep in my empire because nobody wants to do it themselves. Uh, I actually probably had two. I had two grand left. I probably could have spent that on the army here, but hey. But we'll see what happens. Zardom of Bulgaria, Latin Empire. Who? Anyone going to do anything? I forgot that Bulgaria t has taken out like the Latin, em most of the Latin Empire. Ayub is doing their thing. Looks like the Gura is here. I don't know, just wanting something to happen, but it's not going to happen. And then the Ayub is alternate, uh, not alternate, Ayub pretenders, they're still chilling, just like, they'll be what remains of the Ayub Empire at the end. Good to see all these factions that are just bending to my knee. Oh god, yeah, fine. I'll go to war with the Empire of Nicaea as well. Hey, who cares? It's not like we need like don't have enough borders already vulnerable. Uh yes, Abu Bakir, you can take over control of the justice of Allah, I think it was. Yeah. Which is all the way in Cairo. There you go, you can do your thing there. Oh, it's because this guy Stefan went and killed people, wasn't it? Didn't even realise that. How rude of him. Um, right. Let's just put in then. See if you can... Oh no, there isn't any actually to save you. Oh dear, you might die this time, sir. Um, have a decorated sword, sir. After that, y it's all on your own. <laughs> Risk your own life. Um, let's put you under siege. Get a ram. I actually probably could have... I uh, could have gone from Alexander and just taken it by sea. Should have possibly done that. Um, but oh well. There's, these things happen. Um, the Swords of Islam will come all the way back up the coast. Or not the coast, up the uh, mainland. This army should be okay to hold its own against Sigismund's here. So we should be fine there. Let's repair this. I don't really want to muster the grounds here. But why not? Um, let's put the... Uh, Baelic garrisons back in, and then let's get a funduk going, and then let's put in let's put in a castle as well. Actually, no, if we're putting in a muster ground, there's no need to have a castle as well. Let's have walled city, and there we go. That will help with economy. And a quaver, you can have. Um, you're looking okay. Your sanitation ain't great. Drew some kind of a better Baelic garrison thingy. Um, any of these places about to rebel? I think. Acker is, isn't it? Nearly. Sis is looking okay. Antioch's looking... Look better. Uh, and then Malatia can have that. Van is also about to rebel, but... I'll deal with that. Just now. You, sir, go all the way over there. That is your aim in life. And then, let's see. Let's just build, I don't know, some... Half decent archers and some cav. And there you go. The army sort of sorted. 
It can put down anything now. That army's sorted. It's invincible. We've got some cavalry and some archers. Nothing shall stop it. Um, yeah, there's actually going to be a rebellion in Cairo, so there's not much I can do about that. I could put it down with two of these armies, um, but I could probably just take this place next turn. Or I'd just send that army up. Anyway, we'll end the turn. Uh, you can have that, and you can have personal influence. There you go. Excellent. Right. We are done there. We've only got two more summons to go. I think we can do it easily. Um, we just go from Mansu, Mantru, and whatever. To, and we're just going to go around and take it by the sea with an army. Is the plan. Holy Roman Empire Bay is going to assassinate my chap again. Oh no, he's coming up the coast with an army. And the Mamluks are here, of course. We'll put them down with the army in Cairo. I've got the Mamluks for an entire, like a nation that can spawn. I'm glad that they are. Uh, oh yeah, of course. The Empire of Nicaea is involved in this. Is Jerusalem now going to attack people? Oh, there's actually still a bit of a border. Of course the Turks just couldn't stop getting themselves involved in a war. Yeah, you, Ubit Sultanate, you're not you're not staying alive. Um, I'm sorry about that. We've taken Egypt, but I want that bit of North Africa first. I probably could go on and take the rest of North Africa and hold it because it's a Muslim majority place. Uh, but I just don't want to uh, because this campaign's gone on long enough and we know it's it's just me uh, like just knocking over people uh, left, right, and center. I, I don't really like have any one of opponents yet. I am clearly master of the world. I mean, I haven't con conquered the world yet or seen the entire world yet. I don't even know about half the nations still in this game, apparently. But uh, I know I could probably knock any of them out if I wanted to. Kursk's changed. It looks like it's now held by some sort of Romans or something. He started a fire. How rude of him. And looks like we're about some rebellions elsewhere, which is always joyous. Um, you, sir. Actually, let's move you up here first. Um, you sir, just put down the uh, rebellion in Cairo. There you go, executed. And then we'll just send that army on, and we'll be done in no time. Right, uh, Cairo. Oh, jeez, Cairo is not in a good spot. Yeah, they didn't appreciate that fire being set alight, did they? Uh, let's do that, and then let's do zeal. I don't think... Public order... Uh, yeah, I guess we'll put public order in, but it's not going to help. Uh, this guy can get all the way over to uh, Mercer Man Matru. I don't know how, if that's how you pronounce it, but... But hey, that's how it's being pronounced today. There we go. This guy's dead. I'm pretty sure this is my faction leader. He's just... Or it might be my faction heir. He's going around stomping people. He's my faction leader. He's just stomping people right now. Doesn't even care. Um, right, we're going to send you all over there. I'm going to send you. Oh, you can both reach the same spot. Okay. Uh, can I... Can't ask you to force march. We could probably take that in one turn. Um, I'm going to assure myself I can. Yeah, I'm going to assassinate you. I don't care. Uh, Alexandria does have a city, like, wall, so we are okay there, so they will have to besiege it. I'm gonna actually put in a bigger, a bigger city. Bigger city means better stuff. Uh, okay, yeah, we're good for food there, and then we've only got 600 left, so I could spend it on, and I guess we'll spend it on a unit of swords. And, uh, yep, yeah, that's where we'll end the turn once again. One final turn basically needed. Oh my god, a lot of unassigned skills. Jeez. Um, I guess I have personal influence. I guess I'll give you that and that. And I guess I'll give you Khalid. There was... Um, hmm. I'll just give you research rate. And then you can have wealth and then that. The cub. Uh, oh, that's what I was looking for. Hostile chance. Sanitation. Have that. Um, you may have, I don't know, just give him none of them. I don't actually want to give you any of those. No, you know what? No. 
have that one and then that, and then authority. There we go, that should actually help Akka out a little bit. Though Akka looks like it's still going to go, it's, yeah, it's not planning on going Muslim anytime soon. It's actually going Christianity more again. Which is annoying. I mean, Antioch is going there ever so slowly, but it's still taking forever. Uh, I might need to send a priest there. I mean, we actually have a priest there in the region. Um, but Sis and Akka are about to rebel, so we may have an issue there. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this army that I'm still telling to move on. Oh, well, we'll see what happens in a moment with this army. <laughs> Let's just watch it move in slow-mo. Exciting stuff. Thank you, random army that I forgot to move. You, may, you will reach Van next turn. And then you can go and help with the civil war. Uh, the civil war, the rebellions in the Middle East. Nothing new there, then, is there? Um, in like Compared to the modern day. Oh, poor old people there. Have one regime and then another one just replace it. Okay, Holy Roman Empire. Stop sending armies over to like harass my Holy Land. I actually don't know whether I could expand into North Africa as I like nearly choke on my own words um, because like most of like the Holy Roman Empire keeps sending its armies here okay Atalia has been taken that's kind of an issue um, yeah they like sending more stacks over like constantly so like my expansion would take a long time I probably could do it because I only have to keep like two armies in garrison and that means like another four can go westwards as it stands currently I could probably send more if I wanted to but yeah, no, it's uh, it's getting a bit hard, let's put it like that. And I don't think at any point any of the Crusader factions would ever decide, yeah, let's, uh, let's make peace with the, um, with the, with the Muslims. Because they'd be like, why would we do that? They're Muslims and we're good Christians, which is another thing that I think they need to sort out in the game is like, um, they failed, good. Oh my gosh, so many people died. I guess we just got to that age. Uh, they all got to that point. But yeah, their van's going to sort itself out. Um, but yeah, I guess that's like another thing. Like Some nations would make peace with uh, Muslim factions. Like France allied with the Ottomans at one point uh, in history. It wasn't a, this like period of history because obviously the Ottomans aren't around. Um, well, they might just be starting to appear. But... Um, but yeah, so you you just make it an advantage to make peace with the Turks before you, uh, at some points, instead of carrying on fighting just because of your faith, you would be you wouldn't just persist because of that. Um, let's put you in cis for now. Um, there we go. Okay, you're back. Let's just put. Uh, I don't know what I want. This is a pretty upgraded army as well. Let's put that in and then melee attack. I guess you can have that. Excellent. Right, done that. Let's carry on with the big old push down here. Can we attack it from the sea? Not this turn. So we might as well just attack from land and <laughs> and then just carry on like the normal. I don't think the Holy Roman Empire could take this in one turn. Then again, they might have they might have uh, siege equipment. Blooming Holy Roman Empire always been an issue, aren't you? Let's just keep assassinating you. That's a shame. Right, you, sir. Kill him. There you go. Narrowly avoided being shot in the face. Uh, and then you can, I don't know, have success chance and then cunning, I guess, we will put up. That'll help with everything. Uh, and then in Alexandria, I don't need to necessarily actually put anything here, but I'm going to put in a Balak thing. Uh, Mercy Matru, I'm just going to send you all the way up here. There's no armies here. There's no rush to come over and uh, support, but we'll just have it. Look, there's another stat coming. Legacy of Rome. Who cares? Who cares about the goddamn legacy of Rome? We're Muslims. We don't know what Rome did. What did Rome do for us? Um, and then, yeah, there's not much else I really want to spend my money on. I guess this army can just recruit some stuff. I'll just put this little, just trash here. It's not just trash, but I guess let's put some Nafatoons in for the ch for the laughs. Let's have some Nafatoons. Um and then I guess I'll move the army. Actually, Cairo's not defended yet, so I can't do that. This are at least Alexandria's got some sort of defense. It should be okay. Um if it doesn't, then oh well. 
I can just sign another governor, jeez. Um, let's just put you there, that's tax rate. Then governor, right, where can I put one? Now I think I can put one in... Um, Kufa, that's it, that's where I need to put one. I'm going to put in... Who we got here? Politician and merchant. Politician. Let's put a merchant in then. Merchant's always good. There you go. Edict, sword. Then you can have growth and money. End the turn. Excellent. Right, he is sword. Not that he's going to have much chance to upgrade stuff. Because it's going to be an entirely... Uh, well... Wrapped up in the next turn, probably, is this campaign. Hopefully, I hope. Unless the Holy Roman Empire comes and does something. Look at this. Now the Milanese are getting over here. It's just ridiculous. I mean, I could have definitely sunk them all in the sea. Um, or scared them off, whatever. There. <laughs> Look at that. The stacks just keep on coming. Um, yeah, I probably could hold that, I think. I'd have to send the army from Aquaba over to Alexandria. Uh, that's an empire. Really want peace, hey? Um, I want a marriage. <laughs> no, actually, why would I offer you a daughter? Let's have some money. Uh, fine. Let's just just do that. You can have it. Yeah, have your peace. I made peace with the Latin Empire. There you go. That's the uh, Latin Empire, for instance, has been at war for so long with people. It's literally got no reason to be at war with me, and it finally decided. Yeah, okay, we're beaten. Even though I never even had an engagement with them. It'd be the same with most of these factions. They will never make peace with me. Unless I uh, go like over, over to England. I'll have to go and land in England. Probably take like London, Wales. And I don't know. Somewhere in the south. I've forgotten what it's called. It's like somewhere in Devon. And then they'll be like, yeah, with our final region in York. Uh, we'll, we'll surrender. Or something like that. And you'll be like... I've gone to all this effort and you finally surrender. No, I'm killing you. Like, just make peace, for instance, like England or like Holy Roman Empire. I'll have to go into the heart of Germany just to kill them. Otherwise, they'll never make peace. It's a bit silly, really. Um, yeah, I don't really need to worry about that. But anyway, so here we go. This will be the final action of this campaign. And there we go, with the final thrust of the sword, led by our faction leader. Who else? How apt? It's our faction leader that ends the campaign for us. We take Barker. So, I mean, I would probably just repair all this, and I would probably convert this eventually. And um, Let's knock that down, and we'll repair that. But, like I said, we're not going to do any of this anytime soon. I'd probably repair that, repair that, and probably knock that down. But there you go, guys. That is... So, I'll uh, go to Diplomacy, so you can see... The campaign is done. We have taken the Ayyubid Empire. So the sort of extent that uh, uh, the Abbasid Empire, and well, taken out the Ayyubid Empire, but we've recreated the Abbasid Empire, basically to the extent that I want to create, uh, put it to. This all, the, these regions down here are basically my vassals. They rely on me to stay alive. Uh, these are actually my vassals up here. Um, and it, I forgot Jerusalem are my vassals. Look, they just fit this random bit of land for some random reason. I don't know why they did that. Um, but yeah, so... And uh, everyone down here also relies on me. So, these are basically... This is basically my block now that I control. Uh, the Hasfids barely holding on. Why are these guys here? The Bolognese... Jesus, whoever the heck... Oh, it's from Bologna, that's why. But yeah, so if you've enjoyed this campaign and you would like to see more 1212 campaigns or just any other campaigns, please remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, uh, and leave a comment to show your support. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this campaign. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.